Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Land Football. Today, we are talking about how the Detroit Lions win the 2024 NFL Draft. Seven rounds. Let's dive straight into this thing. And my fellow Lion fans, I'm a Lions fan. If you didn't know that, I probably mentioned it every single video, but I am fired up through this mock draft because I've done one for every other team besides this one, pretty much it feels like. So let's do this thing. I'm ready to go. I hope y'all are fired up like I am. Lions, let's win this thing. As we know, I'm picking today as if I was GM. Of course, Brad Holmes, amazing GM as we know by now. But today we're pretending I'm the man in the seat. I'm the man in charge. Let's make this thing happen. Lions fans, I hope you're ready to go. Let's see how this board falls all the way to our pick. Because, guys, I'm going to take my time today. This is my favorite team. Lions fans, if you're with me today, I am very excited about this one. And I think in my heart there is a player and a team on the board that just wants to give us their pick. And you know who it is? It's Minnesota. It's always a Minnesota. They always give us their draft picks. We trade with Minnesota a lot. We trade TJ Hawkinson. We trade up in the first round with them, and it's going to happen again. This is a prime position. We're jumping two teams at need DBs, Cowboys, and the Packers, and we're going to jump up and get this pick. Now, I don't know what this would actually cost. How about a fourth and 205? Cool. We're going to force it. This may not be accurate, but I'm going to make it happen. We're forcing this trade. The Lions are on the clock. The Detroit Lions now have their pick of the Tier 2 cornerbacks. They got Cooper DeJean, they got Kool-Aid McKinnistry, and Nate Wiggins. I don't know who they're going to go with on draft day, but I do know they have been interviewing a lot with Kool-Aid McKinstry. I think that's who we take here. Kool-Aid McKinstry can straight up ball. Welcome to the Lions, Kool-Aid. Let's go to our next pick and speed this up all the way to 61. Lion fans, we are back on the clock, and guys, I'm seeing a player... That should not be here. So without a doubt, we're going to take him. I know we just took a cornerback. I don't care. If Kyrie Jackson falls all the way to our next pick, we're taking this dude. A lengthy corner, explosive athlete. A good coach can mold this guy extremely well. The other guy I'm looking at, Trice. I like Trice a lot. I think we pick in about 10 picks. I think he'll be there then. Maybe not. Let's take the risk. But I know we need Kyrie Jackson in that DB group. Welcome, Kyrie. I'll see you guys in the next pick. Braylon Trice, you are a Detroit Lion. I'm fired up. If this is how the draft goes on draft day, I am losing it, of course, again. This is fantastic for the Lions. We need all these pieces. This is what we need. Opposite side of Aiden Hutchinson. Let's make it happen. Braylon Trice, welcome. You are a Lion. I'll see you guys at the next pick. We are back on the clock, and we are about 100 picks out from when we last picked. We have flown on the board, but here we are yet again. Who are we taking here? We need a center. We need a guard. We don't need is a strong word, but in the future we will. These guys are getting older. They're getting hurt. We need a replacement here pretty soon. And I think the easy answer is this guy was definitely locally scouted. The entire O-line of this crew is great. Drake out of Michigan is the center we need to back up Ragnow and be ready in case he goes down in any game or any scenario. Drake, welcome. You are Detroit Line. I'll see you guys in the next pick. We were at the bottom of the sixth round. Who do we want to take here? We've taken two cornerbacks, an edge player, a guard. We got it all, baby. We got all the players we need. Who are we taking now? This is best player available. But in these best players available, there is a position of need that we can fill here. Where did he go? He was Cohen, the guard out of Miami. We could definitely use this guy on a roster. And we need some more youth in that interior line group. Welcome, Cohen. You're officially part of the squad. It is our final pick for the 2024 NFL Draft. Who are we taking? We're not Mr. Irrelevant quite yet, but we are definitely 10 picks out from that pick. Who do we want here? I'm going to keep a buck with you guys. Besides Tonga Bailoa, I don't know majority of these guys. I do know Wallace. And with that alone, we will take Wallace here for our linebacker group. I think he'll be a very impactful player on this squad, especially for special teams as well. Lions fans, this is my mock draft. Let's break it down. Kool-Aid McKinstry, we couldn't sit all the way at 29. We had to go get this guy. And you know who loves to trade with us, the Minnesota Vikings. Minnesota! We're going to send some picks their way. You know they're going to accept it. I don't know if this is accurate exactly to how it would go down on draft day, but we Force a trade. The point is, we trade up to 23. We get Kool Aid. We've been interviewing this guy a lot. I like the pick of Kool Aid. Kyrie Jackson was somehow on the board at 61 overall. I wasted zero time and selected this dude immediately. Next in the third round, we got Braylon Trice out of Washington. An A right there. Just a smash home run pick right there. We need an edge. We got an edge. These first three picks directly affect our defense. Maybe this defense won't be top tier, but they're certainly going to be great after this draft. And that is what we need to make a Super Bowl run. Drake, you are next. We need a Drake, a center, a young center out of Michigan. We got Cohen, the guard out of Miami, and then we got Wallace, the linebacker out of Kentucky. This is my mock draft. Lions fans, what did you think? Did you hate it? Drop it in the comments. What would you change? Let me know below. I take no offense, I promise. We're all part of the same family. Drop your thoughts below. And if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. It lets YouTube know that you enjoyed what you watch. Pretty simple, but it helps me out a ton. If you enjoy this kind of content, I'm making a mock draft for every single team 
in the NFL. So if you want to see more of these kind of videos, subscribe down below. And if you subscribed and if you liked the video and you were just a super fan, we have a brand new Patreon, not here, but here. We got two Patreons in our all pro tier. Thank you, Cisco. Thank you, David. They get an additional weekly video per week and access to our Q&A sessions. And then at our MVP tier, mom is holding it down. She gets full access to our rookie draft guide. You get five draft day tips and a bonus tip, tier-based rankings for quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. And of course, a one-pager cheat sheet. So on draft day, you are marking these guys off as the draft goes by and you're going to dominate your rookie draft for dynasty fantasy football thank you guys for spending your time with me today watching this video it means a lot i'm serious it means a lot you spend your time with me thank you very much i appreciate you guys more than you know have the best day love y'all peace now listen up y'all it is time for the 2024 nfl draft wide receiver tier list and this is the first time i have ever had i mean ever had two players in my god tier let's get it started introducing my two players in my god tier y'all know their names say it with me marvin harrison jr out of osu and malik neighbors out of bella